Hey guys, what's going on? Badline Client Bress here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be going over the change log for the Badline Client 2.4 update. This just came out today. And I wanted to show you guys what they've added. And, you know, of course, I'll put a link to Badline Client in the description. But we're going to be going over the change log here. So, yep, let's get into it. So you can see Badline Client 2.4, Happy Holidays, and you can see that they added the Level Head mod, the Auto Tip mod, the Reach Display mod, the Particles mod, the C Counter mod, the Shiny Pots mod, the uh, the 1.7 Bow animation, and the F5 Sword animation, and lots of bug fixes. So let's start off with the uh, the new features. So we got a new mod slide out. I'm gonna hop in game really quickly so I can show you guys this. So as you can see right here, if I press right shift you can see a new mod slide out now it is kind of small here but but you can see that on the side it looks a lot better than it did we also have a graphics tab and insider and other insiders obviously their service where you can pay for it and stuff anyway let's keep going through this here uh, you can see that they say we have been very hard at work for the past few months redoing our mods slide out menu to come up with a cleaner and easier to use design than the original one. There are a lot of benefits to us, the development team, but this new slide out menu too. It will make supporting future Minecraft versions way easier. They've also added a new insider feature, which is icons above heads. So you can actually change, uh, or actually if you have insider rank, which is a rank that you can buy, you can get a little icon at the, at the name tag and stuff. That's pretty cool. Also, they have level head. So in on high pixel, as you can see right here in game, let me just hop down here. You can see that right now I don't have it on, so you don't see people's uh, level. But if you turn it on right here, uh, to you go to... But you can turn on level head, and you can see right here it's fully customizable. Like, for example, you can go and change the color to, to be whatever you want. And you can also change the suffix color and also the value. It can also be your karma, the achievement points, uh, the number of friends the person has, which is an interesting one. But yeah, so that's pretty cool, right? So let's go back to the change log. They also have auto tip, which is a pretty, pretty good mod in my opinion. And that just automatically tips people, you know, that's just something that everyone should have on at all times. That'll be right here, just turn that on. And they also added Reach Display Mod, which just just functions just like a regular Reach Display Mod. And also Particles Mod, which is like a more Particles Mod. You actually uh, can get more Particles. Let me demonstrate that really quickly right here. You can see that when I set More Particles Mod as on, let me enable it. You can see I can turn the Particle Multiplier up to, I don't know, 6.5 and that then when I attack someone, you can see I get way more particles, which is a new thing as well. Which Reach Display Mod is also heavily customizable. You can change the background color, the fancy font. Uh, you can also reverse the order and uh, stuff of that sort. So that's all good. They also added Shiny Pots, which is a pretty simple mod. It just makes the pots shiny. Uh, also, they have the C counter, which is mostly used for UHC. I'm not 100% sure because I don't really use it. It basically uh, allows you to discover caves easier. There's also the Toggle Sneak mod. I'm not 100% sure why they didn't have that originally, but they have it now. Also, they have shields, and you can also use cloaks and wings at the same time, and a bunch of bug fixes. Anyway, yeah, so I'm excited for the future Bad Lion Client. I think that the updates they're making on it right now are pretty good. And I'd also like to give a quick shout out to you guys, everyone who commented on my video where I said suggest new features for the Bad Lion Client because most of the top suggestions I got in that video were actually implemented in this update. So once again, if you have any more suggestions for Bad Lion Client, comment down below for something that has not been added in this update because I'd like to see what people want to see because we can basically add any mod, you know, it's perfectly possible to do that. Uh, as always, I'll put a link to this form post and the Badline client itself in the description, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.